So you can see behind me an example of a larger aerating fountain. These can be supplied in any size you want to suit any size dam. Basically the fountain height is just determined by the motor size. The bigger the motor, the bigger the fountain display. The bigger the motor, the more aeration you're going to get. The bigger the motor, the larger the dam it's actually going to aerate. So this is where it's, uh, it's important to be speaking with an expert and figuring out the best size to suit your needs. So how these aerators work, or one of the ways that they work, is by sending out ripples all throughout the entire, uh, entire dam. And what that does is it increases the surface area, gives more gas exchange between the air and the water, so good gases such as oxygen come in, not so good gas, gases such as methane and hydrogen sulphide are able to escape. subsurface aeration which is on the bottom and what that does is that you pump air into the bottom of the dam and as millions of these little bubbles rise up to the surface they drag all the water that's on the bottom and it comes up and follows the bubbles up so you're constantly circulating the water from the bottom to the top and it's a very low cost way from a power consumption point of view of aerating a dam because you're pumping air not water so uh, you, your power requirement is much much less. 